Hello, boys and girls. This is uh, Activist Sunset Shimmer here. 6 8. Pass. I saw, okay, another $100,000 sit and go. Yeah, I like the later stages of these games. They become exhilarating. It's like you just you just keep pushing them in and trying to make your opponent make mistakes with aggression, well timed aggression. And for no reason at all, I'm gonna shuffle some cards on the side. You gonna play, dude? The only thing I've noticed is that these tournaments don't seem to have as much of these <gasps> pre-flop anymore. It just seems like people don't donk as much in these anymore. I don't know why. Maybe they just moved on. Remember how they used to like always be people? Well, then again, that was more prevalent in the lower tournaments. A hundred thousand dollar never was like always that stuff. Okay, he's probably got like an 8 or something. Or he could have an open ended straight draw. Okay, did you double check on an ace? I don't think that's a very good play. <clears throat> I shouldn't do that, but. Obviously, we can't defend with Jack 9, that's suicide. And I would think that he has some semblance of a hand here. Four eight. I'm if I if it calls around to me, I'll complete in the small blind. Okay, these guys have been folding a lot, so they're probably a little bit tighter players. If we can exploit that later on, it might be to our advantage. Okay, looks like we got a little bit of an aggro player here. Yeah, you gained 30 bucks. That's funny. Mm. Okay, obviously we cannot defend with 8-4 here. He broke calling in too late. I don't think people believe him. Yeah, he left. He, too aggressive. Too aggressive, my slow chap. No, no, that's not what I want to do. That's not what I want to do. <laughs> Pocket tens. I don't know. I might actually ship it here just because. Yeah, okay, I'll just call. See, it's stupid min raisers. Dude, raise properly or don't raise at all. Come on. I might have actually shipped. I mean, there was a lot of dead money in that pot, and I was hope I would hope someone makes a calling mistake against my 10s. Because, you know, they might call me like ace 3 or something. If they fold, that's fine, too. I pick up dead money. No complaints there. I probably should bet here, but... He'll win with an 8. Or a 10 10 or something like that. Mm. You know what? I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm just going to pass. I mean, obviously, I do have an over pair, but I don't know. This guy could have like a bigger pair. And then there's a lot I can't really raise, and then. That happens, and there's a lot of turn cards I'm going to have to be forced to fold on. Okay, either this guy's slow playing something, or he's on a big draw or something. I think he might actually be trapping with something. If he is, I would expect him to push here. No, he's not. He's like on a draw. Probably is an 8. 
Yes. Yeah, that was... Yeah, I laid it down. It was a good lay down. I kind of suspected he might have had a big pair, but he played that piss poorly. You know, you don't... If you're going to raise, don't min-raise. Your first mistake is you min-raise pre-flop. You give everyone good odds to call. And then what do you do when my pocket tens hit a third ten? You're dead. I mean, you're going to lose everything you have. I mean, you're dead. And if you'd have just raised bigger, I might have, I would have gotten out. And like, a, yeah, and on the 10 I flop, if it's like, you know, 10, 7, 4, that doesn't look that dangerous. Your aces are good. No, they're not. And plus, the, the min raise on the turn, if you're going to raise, you need to raise properly. Don't give min raise and give people good odds to call. Otherwise, if you, I mean, you got to raise properly or don't raise at all is my stance. Giving away information and giving good pot odds at the same time, that's not what you want to do. I think he might have jacks or something. Probably priced him to call here. Let's see if he barrels again. Yes, he does. Okay, so he actually had ace king. Oh, that's fine. This guy loves to min raise his monsters. And look at look at ace king. Okay, so we got like twelve big blinds. I might actually just ship here. Yeah, I mean, I got like a uh, seven. I got like fourteen big blinds. I think this is a good spot to just ship. Might be a little bit aggro. I could probably go for a raise, but then I just want to get it all. I mean, I, people are gonna make calling mistakes against me. That's what I want: calling mistakes and double up. Also, raise was seven eight. That's why you're not in the tournament anymore, kid. And it's Jack six, by the way, pretty stupid. And again, I mean, bigger stack. I, if the blinds are like twenty, I probably wouldn't make that play with Ace King, but well, I definitely raise with Ace King. There's no excuse not to raise with Ace King, but I probably wouldn't raise that big, is what I'm saying. And, I mean, if we had won that, we would have had, like, 2,000 chips, which is definitely not a bad spot to be in. I expect him to ship with anything he raised with. I don't really see him being able to fold now. Winston Keith raises. Does he actually have a 10? I don't know. It seems off, but he might. Yes. See, he should have gone all in with those queens, in my opinion. By the way, this guy clearly doesn't... I mean, he didn't even slow play a damn call. See if this guy will come along for the ride. Your raise is never going to engage you with anything worse. Pass. Probably is a big hand. Sydney. Uh, TLB. What did he call with? TLB. Pass. Okay, so they're, 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 we're definitely going to get a call from one of these guys if he keeps doing that. Yeah, I figured as much. People don't tend to take that too much at lower stakes, even though they probably might want to fold sometimes. Yeah, see, you probably shouldn't call with queen nine. Problem with it is just too weak. And they raise the blinds just as they come hem a come to me. Now, check. How about 9-3 something? Well, there's a 3, but not really worth betting. 
and we have six big blinds. So we basically are in push or fold mode if we get a decent hand. I think this is just one I want to see if showdown value plays out. I haven't seen a whole lot from TLB. Pass. I mean, really good here. There's no, well, just a draw, I guess, but probably, a, I don't know what you have. What do you have? Clown. Okay, he's like the biggest fish in the world. Seriously. Dummy. I mean, I'd, well, if it was a stronger race, I'd ship, but I'm worried about being called by two people, not being the favorite. Check. Mm. Mm. Uh, you guys just got a bluff shove, don't you? Got some, we got like two loose players that seem to, well, does he actually have it? He might. He probably does actually have it. That looks like a value raise to me. Play something. Yeah, I probably should have shipped the A7 pre. I could ship... Well, no. I'm not going to ship this. I probably should have shipped the A7 pre-flop and just hoped it held up. I would have tripled up right there. Sydney wasn't doing anything, and I need to I need to double up pretty damn fast. And it's worth noting if this if this clown had actually folded his king nine, I would have shipped on him. Okay, so, and it's interesting that this guy okay, so he like big raises when he actually has something, and he value raises when he doesn't have anything. Okay, just passes. I guess that's fine. Okay, you know what? It's <sighs> frustrating. I was going to do that. I was going to ship with the king eight. And he freaking raises and like makes it so I can't do that. So that sucks. Call. Double call. And I would have lost. Well, that was silly. See, look what he just did. He freaking bluffed his stack off, and now he, he had a lock on third. It just outlasted me, the short stack. Okay, ace three. I probably have to just ship this right now. I mean, I don't have time to wait. The blinds are going to be going up. I have to spike an ace. See how stupid that is? He calls a raise with like 5-2 as if he has any right. It's like stupid. Give me the 5. I'd love to give him his 5 of spades. <laughs> and I mean, again, what are, you, what are you supposed to do there? I mean, that was the right push. He made a terrible call. Maybe not so terrible, given the odds, but still not a good call. I mean, he's calling for the wrong reason. He called with Jack-2 for the wrong reason before. He called with 5-2 for the wrong reason there. It's a player that doesn't, that, you know, I just want to see if this guy can come back. I mean, we have like a freaking fish over here.
Probably has, I don't know, he probably has a 10 or something. Yeah, yeah, 10. No, two pair. He should have bet that river. You have a loose passive player. You need to extract value from them. How else are you going to get money? And clearly, the week five, I mean, they're just like folding the button half the time. I mean, how do you do that? Heads up, you should not be folding the button. You know, if you, if you at least limp, probably raise is probably the proper play. Although, against loose players, I don't know if that's advised because you're not going to get them to fold very often. I mean, guy, this guy does not know how to fold. What would be nice is like to just block, is like have slow play pocket aces and then ship the river and act like you're bluffing. You know, that's what I'm, that's what I would like. Five hundred. He probably has a decent hand. I want to see if he can come back. I just want to see. So what does he have? He probably has at least two pair if he's going to bet that big. Okay, this person doesn't call big bets, so that's maybe an interesting thing. You could probably knock him off with a double barrel big bet. Although it's risky because if you're wrong, because loose players have a tendency to make loose calls. I would probably do that with, okay, that's not a good sign. And he calls. This could be it right here. It's a pretty dang big pot. She's probably going to ship. I just She's hesitating. She should have checked by now. She wasn't. Like Ace King. That was his mistake. I put him on an I put him on an unpaired ace. It's exactly what he had. So okay, I mean third place again. At least it's better than losing, right? And at least that time I fought a little bit harder. Although the one with Ace Seven I probably could have shipped, but in my defense, I had two loose players. I knew I'd be double called, and there is my weak ace really the favorite against three? Probably not. So, yeah, I mean, if it was if it was like Ace Jack, I would have gone all in there. All right, but Ace Seven was just too weak, in my opinion. I'll see you guys next time.